very welcome to you. We are here with 13th of June's Godly Blessing. Now, Supreme Father wants us to remove the consciousness of I. And that is something which disturbs us, makes us go up and down in our emotions and feelings, with desires and wants after what we have done in this world. And that's where God says that may you be a humble instrument by closing the door to the consciousness of I and thereby bid farewell to Maya. So where this consciousness of I automatically greed, ego, jealousy, hatred, competition, comparison comes in. And that disturbs our mind on a daily basis, on a hourly basis, every second. And God says, if you want to be free with this, remove the I, consciousness of I. While doing service, now service is not just about giving knowledge to somebody. Service can be physical service, mental service. It can be even some form of service which you do through your words. So God says, while doing service, if any server has the thought, any server, let's say me, I have the thought, I did this. That means I am the one who is doing this seva. I am doing this recording. I am the one who is doing the uh, Vardhan explanation. Then that consciousness of mine means to throw water on everything. That means cancel. You have done so far. Whatsoever I have done so far. If it's I who is doing it, then it's a cancellation of whatsoever I am doing it. True servers never forget the father. Karan, Karavan, Har or Karavan, Har. The one who is getting it done through us. We are just instruments. Who does everything? That he makes us do everything as instruments. I am an instrument who is doing the recording of this blessing. But I am not doing the recording of the blessing because it's not my knowledge is given to me by God. So I cannot have a claim over it. Wherever there is the consciousness of being an instrument, there will automatically be humility. If I am an instrument and I have humility, Maya cannot come. That means somebody cannot praise me and make me this and somebody cannot uh, dishearten me by saying something which is against. And this is what is possible automatically when we have humility. Close the door of the consciousness of I and Maya will bid farewell to you. And that is the most difficult part which we every day have to work towards because on a daily basis we have been thinking about the word I, I, I. I am right. I am this. It's my idea. So I can even take the form of my. My idea. My method. My thoughts. My intellect. My smartness. And that's also I. And God says that is the reason why you feel so lonely in your life and people don't like to be around you because of the I consciousness that you are always right. And another way of making everybody yours is remove the consciousness of I and become humble. How to do that is what we learn on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris where we try to remove the word I or at least I the soul not the body. And that's a very, very fine distinction actually which cannot be made out that I am a soul and I am not a body. So how is the I over here? What does the I do over here? You can come and learn this beautiful art and remove the hurting feelings which you unknowingly have within you because of the consciousness of I. And I is not just ego. I can be many, many other things. So Om Shanti with this.